Hey everybody, this is another tutorial on using FreeCAD Path and today I want to cover uh, something that confuses new users regularly and that's the difference between a tool and a tool controller. Uh, these are two distinctly different but related concepts and the distinction is important so let's just jump into it here. Uh, within FreeCAD in the Path Workbench um, there's a button to open the Tool Library Manager and if you open that you'll see the list of tools that I've already imported in here and double clicking on any one of them will open up the dialog to edit that tool. And one thing that might strike you as missing right off the bat is there's no property for the uh, feed rate or the spindle speed or spindle direction. New users often ask the question, well how do I configure the feed rate so that you know it's always the same for my quarter inch two flute end mill and the answer is, well, you, you don't configure it here because that tool could be used in any one of a number of different ways depending on the material that you're cutting. The place that you configure that is in the tool controller, which we'll get to in a second. The purpose of the tool library manager is to manage lists uh, and groups of tools to import them and export them into different formats and then to create tool controllers from them. The tools that appear in this list are ordered off of the tool number and the library manager won't let you create more than one tool with the same tool number. And in fact, if you select one and move it up, it'll create the numbers for you. You can move it down past the, the bottom number. For instance, I could have a tool number 9 without a 7 and an 8, uh, but I can't have less than a 1 and I can't have more than one tool number 1. Selecting a tool and creating, hitting the Create Tool Controller button will create the tool controller in my job. I'll close this and I'll double click on the tool controller that was created and the first thing you'll see is that I have properties here for the feed rate and for the spindle speed and direction. Anything that's in here I can change uh, including on the tool tab the same set of properties that we saw in the tool library manager. However, at the bottom you'll note that it says that any modifications made here do only affect this tool controller. They don't, these changes do not go back upstream into your tool library. So if you make any changes that you want permanent, make them through the tool library, not in the tool controller. You can change the name that appears in the list, which will also appear in the G code when it's generated, and you can change the tool number now one other thing that you're going to see right off the bat is that there is properties for the horizontal rapid rate and vertical rapid rate, but they're grayed out. I can't change them at all here. Not all tool or machine controllers like Linux CNC, not all of them allow you to configure the rapid rate. Linux CNC does not allow a configurable rapid rate, but other tool controllers like ShopBot and Smoothie do. If you want to configure the horizontal and vertical rapid rate, you can do that through the setup sheet, which we'll get into in another video, but you can also do it here by overriding this. The blue function sign in here shows that the, uh, the numbers that are being derived are coming from a uh, configured function. If I wanted to or override the horizontal rapid rate, I just click on this blue function. Now you won't see anything in here because my uh, video recording software is hiding it, but if I move my window out, you'll see that I've got the, uh, it opened up a second dialog for configuring the, uh, the function where this rapid rate comes from. And it's saying that it, this number is de being derived from the setup sheet horizontal rapid property. If I just discard this and throw it away, you'll see that my rapid rate becomes uh, configurable now and I can set it to anything that I want. When the tool controller is open you'll also see a representation of the tool on the screen. Uh, this is configured from the diameter and the length uh, in, uh, that the tool or tool controller is configured to. So it's a good visual indication of the size of the tool relative to your part and can help uh, avoid making any kind of mistakes with that. That's about it for tools and tool controllers. They're pretty straightforward. I uh, hope this is helpful. If you have a question, drop a comment below or come to the FreeCAD forum. Thanks.